morning guys okay today for down and dirty woodcraft i'm out here doing a little bit of filming for my upcoming master woodsman fire class for the part two the tenders and so i wanted to go ahead and share this with you because right now is the time right now being the end of fall beginning of winter is the time to get out there and start looking for tenders that we're going to collect and store up over the winter because a lot of this stuff goes away and what we're talking about is this type of stuff now this is too green right here but you're looking for this stuff that's already dried out gone to seed and everything now that we've got colder temperatures you've had cold wind you've had the sun, the lack of whatever, all of it is dried out and killed off 90% of this stuff and there's big swaths of it that's already dead. Okay? Now's the time to go gather it and you want to do it in the afternoon because in the morning there's still dew on it. Take you a one of these plastic shopping bags. And what you want to do is you want to walk along in the afternoon and you want to find this stuff. If it bends and snaps, that's what you want. If it doesn't bend, then it's got a moisture content in it. Now let me show you something that's about ready to go right here. Okay guys, here's what I'm talking about. These brushy tops and stuff right now that have gone to seed. <clears throat> and like this right here, this is, see how it bends but it doesn't snap right now? That tells me there's a water content in it, but I can finish drying it out. So all I gotta do is harvest this stuff and put it into a bag and that will dry it out the rest of the way and make my tender. So, you go along and you gather up that stuff and you're gonna go put it into one of these bags. Why? Because we're gonna finish drying it out. After I've got the bag full, I'm gonna tie it closed and then on one of the nice sunny days here, pretty you know, tomorrow or whatever, I'm gonna put it up on the dash of my car while I'm at work and let the sun Heat it up and dry it on out, acting like a dehydrator. You know, any remaining moisture, turn the bag over every day and do it for like two days. Then take it and see if it snaps off. It should just go pop. In that case, it's good dry tender. Now, once it's like that, I will transfer it to a Ziploc bag. And I'll get me a couple of gallon-sized bags of it already made up and kept at the house. Why do I want to do that? Because you and I are going to be going out in February, let's say. And all this really good little tender is gone. Because you've had snow. You've had winter storms. It's all been dropped, got to the ground, got wet, got sodden. And it's hard to find that dry, fluffy tender. And I want my tender bag to have nice, dry, fluffy tender that I'm bringing with me for the transition so I don't have to do so many feather sticks and that type deal I've got a fluffy tender ready to go so I'll go ahead and capture it now that possum mentality get out there and find it now and store it back for those times so when I'm gonna be coming to your camp out in say February and there just ain't nothing I'm gonna bring some with me so that when I go to gather up, it'll be in my haversack or it'll be in something. It won't be a big bag like this, but I will have a supply of it, see. Because that's the thing, in the height of the summer, it's kind of hard to find dry stuff because everything's damp and humid. And in the right at the dead end of winter, it's hard because everything's dropped, crushed, got wet, disintegrated. So finding nice, dry, fluffy tender is harder to find. You can still find that little snappy twig, that's everywhere. But it's the fluffy tender that easily catches a spark. And I don't want to have to sit there and generate and make a big pile of shavings or a big fe uh, feather stick in order to catch a spark. I want to have something with me. So, in conclusion, get you an old shopping bag. Take a day you're off. Find some dirt road or something somewhere that you've got along that ditch. All these dead brushy tops. And go along and fill up a couple of bags of this. Then, like I said put it in the dash of the car, someplace where the sun can get on it, and heat up the bag and finish drying it out. These bags are perfect for this because it lets the moisture. Now leave the bag untied and put it out in the sun so that it can dry. Otherwise the bag will just catch the moisture and it'll go right back to it. So, you know, spread it out, get the air to it. And therefore, it'll be nice dry tender. Hope this uh, gives you some ideas, guys. Thank you very much for supporting my channel. Please leave any questions or comments below. 
And do me a favor, hit that like, share, and subscribe button before you go. Till next time, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.